In this episode, I'll show you how to use static data sources or static values. So in certain cases, you can have certain values that you do not store in any object in Salesforce, but you do need them in your documents and you do not want to uh, uh, hard code them in any of your rules because they are used in multiple documents or in multiple places. So this is where uh, in the past, you can only do that kind of static values through Apex. You have to call some Apex to create those kind of data sources that do not get data from any uh, any sources in Salesforce. Now, with uh, static values, data sources, you can do that without having to code anything. So I'll just select a new static values data source. Next, enter a name. Dev Winker 18 Demo. So let's save it and you'll see that the screen doesn't contain a lot of data, but it has a lightning component that allows you to add rows and add static data. So quickly add a row and for instance, we'll uh, add a company name. Okay, so that's PDF Butler. Okay, let's save this row. We'll add another row called, for instance, Right. So let's add https www.pdfbuffer.com. Okay, let's save this value as well. So now we have two static values that we can use in our uh, PDF Butter configuration. And we do not have to write any codes or we do not have to run any queries. They just come automatically. Now, a small extra step that has to be taken is that we need these fields available and known in our configuration. So if we would go to PDF Butler configuration, if we add this data source to here, you would see no fields are, are added. In the spring release, probably we will solve this. Yeah, this is a roadmap item. So we'll automatically drag in the, uh, the data, the values that come from Salesforce because we already know them because they are static. So up to then, we just have to create two fields here because we have added two one. We'll create, we'll add company name and we'll add company website. Okay, this is done. So from now on, every time you uh, select this uh, data source, these fields can just be selected just for every config type that you want to use. Happy coding, happy configurating, and see you later. Bye.